right? Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Call Hello Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak Dash. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, a salutation to you, brothers, that's teaching his word in truth and sincerity. Okay, this is the truth, okay, of our living God, okay, the, the power of Israel, okay, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay, the four patriarchs. All right, and Jacob's name was changed to Israel, which means he is the prince of power, Yasha Allah. All right, and we have this word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which we have Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, when you go into the prophecy, the prophecy foretells of the famine to come. Okay, um, now there's stages to this thing, man, there's levels to this thing, and everything's right on time. The Most High does things in his time. And the Most High didn't forget. The Most High's eyes is dead set, okay, on Babylon the Great. It's the golden cup in the Lord's hand, all right? And the Most High is bringing it down. But for the Most High to bring the golden cup down, he's going to bring all the nations down, okay? He's been holding, okay, well, the scriptures say I've long time holding my peace, okay? But the Most High is, is, is bringing things to pass. And um, here's more evidence of it. Now, you know, Esau is nervous, okay? And they're writing articles about it. Um, this is Zero Hedge, as you can see on the screen. One bank warns soaring food prices will lead to social unrest, okay? And that's what we're anticipating. So this article goes on to state, like I said, it's Zero Hedge. We'll go into it via blacklistednews.com, okay? This is Tyler Durden, okay? I probably did a video uh, with this guy uh, before. Pretty sure he more, he more than likely he's an Edomite. This is the... Uh, dated Thursday, April 29th, 2021, the year of the hasting. Okay, now Bloom, Bloomberg Agri Spot Index, which, uh, let's see, let's go into this real quick. What is this? The Bloomberg Agri, Agri. dealing with agriculture. If you know about Bloomberg, Bloomberg, uh, the uh, I think the governor. Of New York, he has staked in Bloomberg News. He became rich off of this. And this is the uh, Bloomberg mar Markets, Commodities, Futures, Agriculture. And you see the price of certain things is going up. Okay, it's going up. And people are nervous. Okay, you got canola, soybean, soybean, uh, soybean meal, soybean, rough rice, oats, wheat, corn. Which corn, typically wheat, oats, these are non-perishable commodities, all right? But we're coming into a time where there's going to be a shortage of these things. So we're going into the article, and the banks is predicting, based off these prices and the storm prices, it says, in a nutshell, this is a problem since food is a large component of CPI, which CPI means Consumer Price Index. Uh, baskets in Asia. This large infl inflationary impulse in the region that houses more than half the world's population should result in higher wages, I mean wage costs in the factory based of the world. As CPI and PPI rise, now what is PPI? Okay, what does that mean? What is the acronym for that? Uh, let's see. Producer price index. PPI is the producer price index. See, Esau keeps track of all of this stuff. A lot of you jigs not paying attention to uh, Esau's system. See, you're not going to see it coming. All right? These banks are warning. They're, they're sounding the alarm, okay? The information is out here, but you, our people were just caught up in this uh, madness of this world, okay? But um, as we, we as men of the Lord, we're watching. The scriptures say watch as well as pray, and we're reporting all right. This is really important, man. You see the price of uh, eggs going up. You see the price of milk going up. You see the price of these commodities going up. Oh, well, corn. OK, corn, wheat. All of these is uh, in your uh, products that you buy from these different corporations like General Mills. Uh, General Mills um, is a corporation. Uh, that you can find in your in your grocery store. You got General Mills, you know Procter and Gamble, 
Um, it's, it's a whole host of them. I can't even uh, uh, think of them right now. But they use, okay, these uh, commodities. And if the price of these commodities go up, guess what? That's going to translate to higher prices on your shelves, okay? And they're talking about gas prices going up. There's a shortage on um, on gas, all right, due to uh, some constraints in the market. There's a shortage on uh, chips, microchips, um, chips that go in your, your computers, your cell phones. Okay, and we're going to see that. So this is the year of shortages. Okay, we're coming into a time of shortages. All right. Which brings me to one of my first scriptures right here. This is 2nd Ezra, 2nd uh, Ezra 15, 2nd Ezra 15 and 19. All right, it says, uh. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right. So the article goes in. I mean, the article is basically warning. One bank warns soaring food prices will lead to social unrest. Another word for so social unrest is great tribulation. OK, social unrest. Social unrest, okay, includes civil disorders, acts of mass civil disobedience, and strikes. They differ in legality and tactics, especially the use of avoidance of violence. But all are acts by groups of people that are intended to disrupt community or organization. And that's the definition, okay, of, um, well, you know, that's the first, uh, first definition according to Google but let's go back into this article you got some stuff out of here now you know what the consumer price index is and the producers price index okay Esau Edom keeps tracks of these statistics man all right uh, today DB's uh, Jim Reed picked that chart as his chart of the day repeating what readers already know Namely, that Bloomberg's agriculture spot index has risen by 76% year on year, noting that that's the biggest annual rise in nearly a decade. And there are only a couple of other comparable episodes since the index began back in 1991. So we're in a time of different precedents being set. OK, um, different uh, records being broken. OK, which is all negative for Esau. OK. And uh, his society. All right. The most High said he's going to he said there's no peace save the Lord unto the wicked. All right. We're truly we're seeing that it's going to be one thing after another. OK, one thing after one thing after another that's going to affect your life. OK, in particular, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. Until this destruction comes. All right. Uh, it says uh, the DB strateg strategist then goes all in and says what everybody is thinking, namely that this trend of higher food prices leading to social unrest extends far back into history and surrounds many key turning points. The French Revolution of 1789, which overthrew uh, ancient regime, uh, came after a succession of poor harvests. That led to major rises in food prices. It was a similar story in the time of Europe, 1848, revolutions to two, which followed the failure of the potato crop in the 1840s and the associated severe famine in much of Europe. Yeah, we went into, um, I did a video a while back. I might have did a video a while back on the potato famine in uh, Ireland. Okay. Right. That took place, and I did one on a famine in China, where out of a small town, a town of people, there was only one woman, okay, left, all right, and people ate each other, it was cannibalism, all right, and that's what we're heading to, because that's biblical prophecy, because of great tribulation, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbors, all right, and this is why you have reason to fear, this is uh, the book of uh, Sirach 39, and 28, it says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, 
which in their theory lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. Okay, we're coming into the time of destruction. Right? So these spirits that are created for vengeance, okay, it says, which in their theory lay on sore strokes. All right, and these sore strokes are coming to, to the people of Babylon, America, throughout the whole four corners of the earth, throughout the world. Okay? But mainly in America, people are going to feel effects because people in America are so used to being entertained and having fun. Okay? But reality is going to set in that the ideology of the American dream and what America have told our people, okay, will have offered to our people, okay, is not, not coming. It's never going to come. All right. In fact, the Most High is going to destroy this place. But these spirits that are created for vengeance, they're going to lay on sore strokes. All right. And we're seeing it. So one thing leads to another, leads to civil unrest, leads to chaos, leads to the time of Jacob's trouble. Right. It says they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made him them. And who made these? OK, spirits created for vengeance, the heavenly father, man. Right. Through his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. It says fire and hail and famine. OK, that's key word famine. All right. And death. All these were created for vengeance. OK. And these. These things are going to going to come to pass. All right. Just a quick article, you know, to go into it. Yes. It's coming, man. Everything is being uh, uh, brought forth. Everything that is written is going to be fulfilled. I'm going to read the last uh, paragraph of the article. It says, so while it remains to be seen what the consequences of today's surge in food prices could be. It says, read cautions that given the hardship that's already occurred thanks to the pandemic, a fresh wave of unrest would be no surprise on a historical basis. All right. On a historical basis. So when people can't eat, they're going to take to the streets. All right. They're not going to have patience with this guy, Joe Biden. He's going to be just slurring his words. All right. He's not going to have any answers for what's about to come. The government's not going to have any answers for what's about to come. You know. Uh, let's bring out a few more scriptures. Uh, let's see. Now, I did go into Deuteronomy. Yeah, this is Deuteronomy 30 and 7 real quick. It says, And the Lord thy power, Yahweh, will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecute thee. Okay? What was one of those curses? Famine. Famine was one of those curses. Matter of fact, let's go to the book of Baruch real quick. All right? Because what came upon us as a people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that's going to come upon you Edomites. See, um, let's see. This is uh, second Ezra. I mean, no, sorry, this is the book of Baruch 1 and uh, 8 17. It says, But we have sinned before the Lord and disobeyed him and have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power to walk in the commandments that he gave us openly since the day that the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt unto this day. And to this present day, it's a lot. It says, uh, we have been disobedient unto the Lord our power, and we have neglect and we have we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. Wherefore the evils cleave unto us, and the curse which the Lord appointed by Moses, his servant, at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that floweth with milk and honey, like as it like as it is seen, Shalaki. Let me start it. Let me read it again. It says, um, like as it is to to see this day. All right. Well, the Lord brought everything that he said he's going to bring upon us. So if he did that, he's definitely going to do it to you Edomites and you other nations. Uh, he's going to bring forth uh, plagues upon you. But I'm looking for, um, it's, it's in here real quick. Um, mm, I'm trying to see if I can find it. 
you know, it talks about uh, that, that we should eat the flesh of our own children. Let me see if I can find it for this battery dies. Matter of fact, give me one second slot. Yeah, I'll plug this thing up real quick. Plug this thing up. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let me look for that scripture real quick. Bear with me. Um, I thought it was in the first chapter. The flesh of our... Yeah. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's do this, because... I want to bring this scripture out real quick. Because if the Most High, the Most High had this happen to us for not following his laws, statutes, and commandments, what's going to happen to you Edomites and you other nations? That's two and three. It's right there. Right, right over it. Yeah, this is uh, Baruch 2 verse, uh, I'll start from the top. It says, therefore, the Lord have made good his word, which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judge Israel and against our kings and against our princes and against the men of Israel and Judah to bring upon us great plagues such as never happened under the whole heaven as it came to pass in Jerusalem. So this happened in Jerusalem, man. All right. So you, you Edomites, you're not going to you other nations. You're not going to go unpunished either, man. All right, this is just the beginning. Okay, you're gonna have famines like never since there was a nation. The, the Most High is gonna do unto the inhabitants of this earth. Okay, the wicked of this earth. I right, remember those famine is created for the wicked. Okay, death that that's created for the wicked. All right, so the Most High is gonna unleash those spirits created for vengeance. All right, which lay on sore strokes, and that's what Baruch. Was talking about, all right, to bring upon, bring upon us great plagues such as never, never happened under the whole heaven, as it came to pass in Jerusalem according to the things that were written in the law of Moses, that a man should eat the flesh of his own son, and the flesh of his own daughter, right? So that's a terrible uh, uh, judgment. Okay, uh, we went to Deuteronomy. 30 and 7 it says and the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee all right and who persecuted the so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans all right we know the answer to that now let's go into this word uh real quick this is Deuteronomy uh 28 yeah, Deuteronomy 28 and 17 Deuteronomy 28 and 17 says, uh, it says, curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Okay. So when I went into uh, the Adam online of it, I went into the Adam online of it, uh, basket and uh, thy store. That word for store, Masha I, Wath. Masha Iwath, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. All right, so that is uh, it says uh, kneading, kneading trough or bowl, okay. And when you go into the uh, I go to Google Images, this is what you come up with. Uh, you see, it says it says a bread trough. This is uh, something that you. You make bread in, okay? And there's going to be lack of bread, all right, coming. And most high, man, look, the Heavenly Father did to the nation of Israel, Ezekiel 14 and 21. It says, for thus saith the Lord Yahweh, how much more when I send my four sword judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword and the famine and the noisome beasts and the pestilence to cut off from it man and beast." Yet behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth. 
both sons and daughters, behold, they shall come forth unto you, and ye shall see their way and their doings, and ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, even concerning all that I have brought upon it. All right. So the Lord brought upon evil upon his own people. All right. And you're not going to get out of this. All right. You're not going to get out of this. There's going to be more social unrest. All right. Uh, Luke 21. All right. Men's hearts failing them for fear and looking upon the things that are coming upon the earth. All right. But with that, call all Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakodash. I hope brothers were edified. You know, um, you call all Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to you brothers that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.